Alpha Theta, a dynasty solidified! Kappa Alpha Theta is aiming for uncharted waters in the 2019 Little 500. They could be the first team in history to win three titles in a row. It becomes a lot more meaningful, and it's something that not only you want to preserve, but carry on. Um, and I'm so lucky to have joined it. I had no idea what I was getting into when I did. With already eight Little 500 wins, a third straight victory would be a testament to Theta's continuity. It would also be a testament to like the strength of our program um, and how it's, it's bigger than just one year. Um, you know, it, it takes multiple teams to achieve these long-term goals, and I, and I think that's something that's cool. It really does show that it is a long-term team effort, and it, like just, just not one team in one year can pull off a 3 P. Wearing Theta's colors on race day means a lot to its riders, who know how important tradition is. Being in the yellow jersey is huge. It gives you a little bit of a boost of confidence just because you know that you've, you've done it once, like you can do it again. We try to make our training more than just about Little Five. We try to incorporate more of like just like the gen generic um, cycling aspects to it. So I think, I think that does kind of give you an edge because then you're not just focused on that one 100 lap race. You're thinking about it more in terms of like Strategy. Watanabe knows the importance of this year's race, but she said she's taking the responsibility of being captain in stride. I'd be lying if I say what, there wasn't any pressure, um, but we have a great support system with this house and with our alumni group um, that I feel that we're very well prepared with our, with our training and just with our knowledge of the race. A three-peat would be undeniably impressive, and Kappa Alpha Theta would truly be a dynasty solidified. For IU Sports Media, I'm Michael Ramirez.